What's up, Internet? You know the drill. This is Price Watch, where every month we track the prices from the four largest PC retailers in the country. We crunch the data and then we let you know is it time to buy? Okay, na ba yung mga presyo ng mga GPU and CPU ngayon. But something a bit different for this episode because we've been doing this since last year. We have a lot of data. And for this episode, we'll be looking at that old data and checking to see kung totoo nga ba yung mga Christmas sales. Sanay tayo pag Pasko, may discount, pero nangyayari ba talaga yan for computer parts? Should you wait until Christmas sale before you buy? Let's find out after a word from our sponsor. So ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred patent method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sudden depress ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com so we will be looking at the holiday prices today based on this month's data, this year's holiday data, as well as yung sa data ng 2022. But before that, about prices, I did want to mention that we have seen a spike in at least one component, two components actually. We don't usually track them on price watch, but you do need them for your computer. And I'm talking about RAM and storage, or at least kung SSD. Sobrang tumaas yung prices nitong RAM tsaka SSD. Not surprising because they're basically the same thing nowadays. Yung RAM is essentially an SSD, just a different flavor of it. So at the start of this year, RAM and storage prices were pretty good. Like sobrang bumagsak sila. And the reason given at the time was oversupply. May shortage nung pandemic, they ramped up production. At the end of pandemic, supply caught up with demand. So the excess production was no longer needed. So we thought, or a lot of people thought, na magsa-stabilize ng prices at that kind of depressed lower end of the price range. And it was like that for most of the year, pero ngayon, sobrang tumaas na ulit sila. Just to give some context, we had a G-Skill RAM set. It increased price by around 1,000 pesos, which was around like 20%. So the absolute peso amounts don't seem like a lot. I mean, you know, you're gonna spend 20 plus thousand sa 40, 60. What's 1,000 pesos more for RAM? Pero makikita mo sa percentages, a 20% price increase is crazy. Similar, around 15% or so price increases for SSDs. So that is something that you want to take into consideration for this particular time period. RAM and SSD prices are very high. Taking a look at the main question, bumababa ba yung mga presyo pag holiday season? Let's take a look at this month's prices because we're sort of a month away or slightly less than a month away from December 25. Retailers do want to put in discounts before that. People will be buying for themselves, for presents. So you don't want the price for December 25. Gusto mo, bago pa magpasko, syempre mura na. It is before Christmas that people start buying. Overall, a lot of the GPUs have gone down in price and yung mga umakyat, malit lang yung price increase nila. So we're looking at 1650 went up just very slightly. 3050 went down. 3060 went down. 4060 went down. 4070 went down. 4080 went up, but just very slightly. And same, very slight increase for the 4090. Price decreases for Intel, notably the 13 series, kasi kakalabas lang no 14th gen. So I assume there will be a bit of price depression for the 13th gen. AMD CPU is actually holding strong, no change at all from the previous month. But if you take a look at these numbers, these are not aggressive price cuts. I wouldn't even call them legit price cuts because they're only like a hundred peso difference. This is more like the normal akyat baba rather than actual discounts. 
So, for this season, going into this season, yes, totoo naman, wala pa tayo sa December. But if you're aggressive about discounts, you'd think that they would already be present. So far, wala pa. And let's go back to last year's data. So, itong column na to was from January at the start of the year. This is 2022. So, this is the last week of 2022. So, these would be December and this would be November. And what you see actually is no price difference. So, this is the start, first week of November. Yes, there's a good price decrease actually for the 1650. 11,000 na lang siya compared to yung previous na 11,900. Pero yung previous data niya was already there. Week 4, 11,000. Week 5, 112. Bumalik sa 11K first week of December. Same story for the 3050. Actually, slight increase pa nga for the 3050. For the 3060, very small price decrease from November. There was even a price increase at the end of November compared to how it was like the third week of November. Then the 4080, we just started tracking it. So brand new card pa lang siya. But no discounts for the brand new card. So December, 86K. Tumas pa nga sa 87K. And then bumalik sa 86K. For the 4090, quite expensive. There was a good price drop the first two weeks of the mid-weeks of December. And then umakyat ulit siya to the last week of December. We have changed up the data, the GPUs that we're tracking. We weren't tracking yet the 6600 and the 7700 XT. But we can look at the old data. Because we were tracking 6500 XT and 6700 XT, and that maps out to this location here. <laughs> no price difference. Tumaas pa nga konte when it hit December from around 12,700 to 13,100. Same with the 6700 XT. It dropped slightly from 30,000, and then nagin 28 na siya. Pero tumaas ulit to 28.8K at the last week of December. For CPUs, same. Data, no change. If there is any change, minimal. So the conclusion we can get from this, you can look at the data as with always, itong price watch list natin is 24-7 accessible. The link is in the comment section as well as in the video description. But what we're seeing from the data is na walang discounts for Christmas. There are no Christmas sales when it comes to PC hardware, at least based on the aggregate average price that we're seeing from the four largest PC retailers that we track. This is what we saw in 2022, and it looks like this is what will be happening in 2023. Na kahit second, third week of November na, wala pa rin masyadong price decreases, sales. So just taking an individual deep dive, we have noticed already that prices have gone down, but just very slightly. Ito, 300 pesos. So very, very small price decreases, not caused by sales, most likely caused by the normal price fluctuations. If we go into the per shop deep dive, you can see that Wedge actually tumaas yung cost nung 16.50. Same with the 30.50 and the 30.60. Yes. You notice that there's a very minimal difference. The 30.60 12 gigabytes because we only track the 12 gigabyte version is 19,250 versus 19,580. There's no reason why the prices should be the same for 30.60, 40.60. The 4060 is the superior card. It uses less power. It's around 20% faster than the 3060. If you caught our last month's Price Watch episode, I mentioned this before, as well as on Pwede Magtanong. The 4060, no brainer. If you see it at the same price as the 3060, 12 gigabytes, don't get the 3060. The 4060 is the way to go. 4070, um, this is an okay price. The ano ba average price ng 30? 4070. Yun, it's around 38.5. So this is just really the average. The 4080 at around 80. And a slow, small price drop for Wedge for the 4090. The one with the most interesting price decreases for GPUs was Joker. Again, we cloak or we mask the real names of the shops because we don't want to give them free publicity. We just want their pricing data. But if you know who Joker is or you know if you follow closely, the, they've had multiple price drops on their GPUs. So last month, Joker's 3060-19500, significantly cheaper now at 17250 Again, we get the brand, we get the cheapest one. So we don't care about the brand, we care about the price. But the same model. So 3060, dual fan, 12 gigabytes. The cheapest model now with Joker is the Inno 3D at 17000 which is a good price decrease from the 3060 last month which was an MSI 
Now, this is a good price difference, in fairness kay Joker. 19000 for the 4060, which is its average, and then 17000 for the 3060. For me, I would still go value for money. Yes, you're paying more ab in absolute terms, but in comparison, price-to-performance terms, I think an extra 2K is worth it for 20% extra performance from a 4060. But you know, if you're in extremis, if talagang gipit na gipit sa budget, that 2000 really matters a lot. Then, a 3060, 12 gigabytes at 17K is, you know, okay, okay na. Especially because if you notice that the average price for the 3060, if you take all three shops which had 3060, is over 18,000. So, this is already a good, very good price from Joker. Wash, not too many changes. Slight increase to the 4060. It was really Joker na maraming price decreases. But even then, you notice walang price difference for Wedge for the 4080. Kay Joker bumaba, but their cheapest model is still at 88,500 compared to the cheapest from Wedge, which is only 80,000. Si Roy talagang mahina yung <laughs> stock ni Roy. At least to be fair, for the kind of cards and CPUs that we look at, we have changed up the data. Although Joker, so Roy medyo mahina sa uh, NVIDIA GPU. Si Joker mahina sa AMD GPUs. Didn't have any of the cards that we track. But everybody else had the cards that we do track. And like I mentioned last month, we've changed up the first two cards. Now we track the 6600 and the 7700 XT. No price changes though for AMD. AMD was in a good place. They're able to flush out a lot of their 60 series GPUs. So now the 70 series GPUs are sitting pretty. Wala masyadong price fluctuations. The 6600 is a good deal. It comes out slightly faster, if I remember correctly, than the 60. 1550 of NVIDIA. You notice also actually that it comes out more expensive. So that is something to take into consideration. On to the CPU side of things. Not much change from Wedge and from Roy. From Joker, price decrease for the 13600K, from the 5600X, and for the 12500. And we had the most number of price decreases this month for CPUs from Wash with four price drops and no price increases. Prices for CPUs are generally more stable compared to GPUs. The hit to the price of the 13th gen is probably expected considering that 14th gen already came out. There is some news that there is a new slate of 40 series cards of NVIDIA rumored to be coming out soon. But that hasn't been reflected in the prices yet. And yun nga, parang chismis pa lang, hindi pa talaga confirmed. So on the three main points for this video, number one, SSD and RAM prices have gone up considerably. If you can wait, I would wait on those. If you bought earlier this year, good for you. Those were really good prices. Number two, there is no such thing as a Christmas sale for PC hardware, at least dito sa atin. Again, I have a video saying na if you can buy from Amazon, there are some parts na sobra mura talaga. And if you are comfortable na medyo alanganin yung warranty possibilities, then Amazon is a good option. But at least for the local retailers, historically, based on the data that we have, wala masyadong discounts, especially on these kind of marquee items na yung matunog na items, 40 series, 30 series GPUs, 70 series for AMD, and for the 7,000 series AMD CPUs, 5,000 series, 13th, 14th gen for Intel. I guess, you know, moving forward, I will need to update with the 14th gen prices. So maybe next month, December, or baka January 2024. But no such thing as Christmas discounts for PC hardware from the local shops. And lastly, just on the monthly movement of prices, not a lot of change for GPUs and CPUs. With that said, if you're thinking of buying yourself or your loved one a PC component for an upgrade or a full rig, these are the prices ballpark you might want to take into consideration. You might also want to take into consideration our shop, Hardware Sugar. I won't plug it too hard. You know where to find us. You know how to reach us. Wherever you buy your stuff, if you do end up pulling the trigger, I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the games that you play. At least yung sigurado sa Christmas season, maraming discounts sa games. Steam sale, Epic sale, for sure, daming good deals nun. So get your hardware ready because the software will definitely be discounted. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. 
Nagbebenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.